guys uh, I thought I'd end the year with one last video because um, I know a lot of you folk are, are curious to see what kind of uh, co boot collection I have um, I've made a lot of videos this year um, I've done quite a few reviews on some boots that are actually no longer with me so um, I'm just gonna show you um, my collection uh, I looked all around the house and um, this is all I have so um, I'm actually kind of uh, scratching my head myself thinking um, what happened to everything else but um, yeah so as you can see right now um, I have the original ID peer um, and then I have some other colors um, so the original ID peer uh, you guys already saw the review I made for this boot pretty much my favorite one of all time uh, this is a pair I've had for like two years now I don't use them anymore but I like to hold on to them because uh, I have a lot of fond memories I have with them these are a pair that I snatched up brand new off eBay they're a size 9 um, and I haven't used them I don't think I ever will kinda scared to use them honestly I might sell them so if anyone's interested in an original pair of ID peers um, size 9 US let me know um, I still have the original box for them too so let me know if you're interested I also have another pair of ID peers these are I think they've been used once um, they're a size eight and a half US um, the reason why I like this line so much <clears throat> is because of the simplicity I mean this was a boot that was full K leather it was light it had lacing on the top it was like a lighter version of the Copa Mundial so um, you know it was my first K leather boot and I fell in love with it right from the start and as you can see I just did not want to let these go um, but I did um, they're my favorite boot and a lot of you folk out there probably have never even tried one on um, it's a shame because uh, Adidas is starting to pull away from kangaroo leather. In fact, their line as it stands right now does not even have K leather anymore. They stopped doing that and only the Copa Mundial is the only one that still has K leather. Anyways, that's my ID Pure line. Uh, on to the next one, which is my ID Zero. Um, this is a boot that I was a bit skeptical at first when I first saw it. Um... But then I tried the leather version and <laughs> I never looked back ever again. Uh, the ID Peer, sorry, the ID Zero, the leather ID Zero is one of the, my favorite boots uh, that's out in the market right now. Uh, the reason why I like it so much is because it's lightweight, it has a thin leather upper, and um, it's very comfortable, you know. Um, I like the sole plate a lot, it's cool. And. The only issue I have with it is durability. Um, as you can see, this is uh, what my orange leather ID Zero looks like now. It's pretty beat up. Um, if you look at one of my other videos, actually, this sole plate was black at one point, and this is just after wear and tear. Um, so it, the paint didn't hold up that well. But then again, I wasn't really smart when I did it because I didn't let it sit for seven days I guess you're supposed to let it sit for seven days and then it comes fully chip resistant I didn't do that so uh, I have the orange colorway and then the whiteouts uh, these are fairly new I've only used them a handful of times as you can see though the white it's really hard to keep this boot white it really is it really is I actually just dumped these in water and let them sit for a couple of minutes and then I try to wash them off as much as possible but they'll never have that same white out feel so that is that and these are my ID pure uh, damn it keep saying ID pure ID <laughs> ID power um, <clears throat> the ID power um, you know it's pretty much a more stable version of the ID zero the leather one um, I liked them. Um, the Taurus leather, I really fucked it up on these. As you can see, like, 
I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. Um, the Eddy Power, though, it's a really good boot. I liked it. Uh, it's comfortable. I got it for a steal. Um, it's got more stability than the ID Zero. Um, it was a solid boot. Uh, the only thing is the Torch Leather, not so great. I mean, I really wish these were K-Leather. I think that's the only thing that's stopped me from really, you know, putting it on my top five. Um, the biggest issue with this is the little part right here. It separates really easily. Um, but yeah, that's the ID power. The Mizunos haven't even put these on yet. Um... I'm actually going to use these tomorrow for the first time. Very excited. I do apologize. Um, on the on the video that I made for this, I said it was Kayla. This is actually a synthetic material. Um, so it's not Kayla there. And I, in fact, out of every uh, boot I have on here, it's the only one that's not synthetic. I mean, not leather. Sorry. So everything else is leather, leather, leather. This is a synthetic. And then obviously the elastic goes are synthetic as well. But that's an indoor shoe. That's a whole other story. So these... Mizunos, um, I'll probably make a review next year in January when I get to use them. I haven't used them yet. Uh, I've heard amazing stories about these, and um, I can definitely tell that these are really nice quality. They're very comfortable, so I know I won't be disappointed with this boot. And it's one of the boots I've been wanting to try for the longest time, and I'm very uh, grateful that I have a pair now. <clears throat> And then uh, my Elasticos, I haven't used them for indoor yet. I've worn them around the block a couple times. Um, but yeah, uh, I like them. I like how flashy they look. They're pretty bright. They're cool. So as of right now, this is what my collection looks like. And I know y'all are thinking, okay, what the hell happened to the Maestries? What happened to the Superflies? What happened to the ID pure sl um there's probably like another boot or two that i've that's not in my collection well oh yeah the elite lasers um i actually i'm kind of disappointed i don't have any nike boots and from looking at my collection you might think i'm completely like an adidas freak or something but honestly um i prefer uh i prefer the nike uh nike line um uh, for the most part um, I just don't happen to have any pairs right now, so, yeah, that's that. Um, a quick recap, though, the Superflies, I sent back to Nike because they had a cracked sole plate, um, those are no longer with us, uh, the Superfly was an overrated boot, and a boot I would stay away from, as far as paying full price for it. Um, the Elite CTR is probably the boot I miss the most. I kind of regret selling them, but I was kind of short on dough at the moment, so, um, some guy offered me a good deal for them, so I sold them, and I kind of regret selling them, because, um, I don't have a synthetic boot right now, I really don't. Uh, the Mizunos are the only synthetic boot I have right now, and, uh, it's kind of nice to have one of each you know it's nice to have a leather boot and it's nice to have a synthetic boot the reason why is um sometimes you need uh durability and especially in wet conditions um, i prefer wearing synthetics just because they are waterproof and i uh, you know with leather boots obviously they're gonna absorb water um, another thing why i like the ctr was because it was you know even though it was a synthetic boot it was made of Kangalite, same material that's made from the Elasticos. Um, let's see where if I can show you the little... should say it. I don't know if you can read that, but... Kangalite. Um, Kangalite's a material that I was introduced to this year, and it's an awesome material. Um, I highly suggest trying it out. Uh, the Kangalite material right now is, I think, the Elasticos, the CTRs, and then the new lasers all use Kangalite. It's a f material that's going to be pretty useful in the future. Um, I swear, bro, they get so soft, it feels like it's real leather. It, it, that's on the CTR, Elite. The Elite is a thinner upper, and it's actually been discontinued. So um, if you don't know this by now, 
<coughs> excuse me, uh, Nike has eliminated the Elite range. So the Tempo 4 Elite is going to be the last boot that's Elite. Um, next year, Nike will start rolling out you know, cleats with no carbon fiber upper, or sorry, soap plate. Um, and that's the issue I had with the Superfly, the carbon fiber cracked. And then my Elite Lasers that I actually never got to do a full review for it, I just did an unboxing for them, they actually broke. <laughs> so the carbon fiber cracked on those two. So um, one of the flaws with, with the Elite range uh, with Nike cracked soap plate. Um, the Pure SL I sold as well. I didn't like the thick tongue. It was too thick for my liking. That's why I got rid of those. Um, if there's a boot that I forgot about, I apologize. I, I've done a lot of reviews. I've done a lot of, I've had a lot of boots, a lot, a lot of boots. And, I, you know, some of them I, I just had to get rid of. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much my collection as it stands right now. Which one do I prefer out of all these? It's a tough call. It really is. I really can't put my finger down on one. Um, right now, though, my favorite boot to use is the uh, Leather ID0. Um, unfortunately, they are discontinuing these. Um, the new ID0s are fugly. They are uh, they're just a horrible boot. I saw them in person. Not a fan of them. And the leather version is nowhere near the quality of these so um, unfortunately uh, these boots are gonna be oh they already are discontinued so um, if you see a pair I re recommend getting them before they're out I'm um, thinking about getting a third pair myself just for the future just so I can have them kinda like the ID Pierce um, so yeah the leather ID zero is definitely my favorite to use right now um, and I'm hoping the Mizuno's will win me over um, I'm probably gonna get another pair of these but in the kangaroo leather version or the Morelia's I don't know yet these are gonna be my first Mizuno boot ever so um, I'm, I got some high expectations for them I definitely do um, <clears throat> you know the ID powers not so great on durability uh, the ID peers um, my all-time favorite boot so that's pretty much it I really can't think of anything right now um, I, I know I kind of, I've been lagging on the, uh, on the boots lately because I haven't had much action. Um, but next year, uh, I'm ex on my wish list right now. I want to say, I want to get the Elite Tiempos. That's for sure. That's a pair that I want so bad and I will probably get next year. I'm just waiting on a good price drop. Um... The CTR-3 is something that I'm definitely going to get. The CTR-3, I've already seen leaked pics of them. Man, they look amazing. I can't wait for that. Um, and possibly a, a, a Superfly. <laughs> and I know I said I hate the Superfly, but they finally have them on Nike ID and I always wanted a Nike ID my own pair of Superflies um, not for use but just to have in my collection and I broke my elite lasers so with that voucher I'm probably gonna buy the Superflies so um, yeah that's just a little preview of what I might get next year as far as Adidas I think I'm pretty much done with them um, I don't like where they're going for next year the ID power is going to be replaced by the D5. I don't know if you guys have seen that, um, but the D5 looks like a piece of crap. It's pretty much a synthetic boot all around. Um, at first, I thought it was going to be um, a fourth line of boot for Adidas, like you know the CTR of Nike. But no, uh, what I've heard is that the D5 is going to replace the ID power. And that's a synthetic material, and they're not gonna have a leather version. And if that's true, that's a that's a really poor decision by Adidas. Um, we've already seen the uh, ID Zero. It looks like shit. It's got my coach, another gimmick. I heard it's not even working correctly. So honestly, the Adidas line, uh, uh, what's out right now, is probably as good as it's gonna get for a couple years. Um, yeah. So that's it. 
Um, my last words. All I want to say is uh, thank you guys for all your f support and s views and subscriptions. Um, you know, I really wasn't planning on, you know, getting so many people to be interested in my videos. So uh, I was quite surprised when, you know, people started subscribing and commenting and stuff like that. So, I mean, I really appreciate um, everything that you guys have done. Um, you know, I just started making videos just to help people out with, you know, what's out there and my taste on, on you know, what's out there. So uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Um, and give me ideas. What do you guys want to see next? Um, I def Oh, another thing is I'll probably do a, a jerseys next. Probably do some of my jersey collections. Um, I think a couple people wanted to see that. So I'll do that. Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys have a, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and thank you for all your support. I'll see you guys next year. Peace out.